hey, let's just have this debate. And if you don't take this debate, Geno Jennings, you are a coward. Mm. I know this first church that you got a coward for a pastor. That's he, he debates people who he know yeah. that he can handle. Absolutely. Going to stay behind that pulpit and stay behind this camera, but he ain't going to, yeah. Ah, that little sorry bunch of stuff. Anyway, he ain't going to, he is not going to come out and face me face to face. He's not going to do this debate. And then when you no longer uh, like to argue, you're tired of argument. Get him out of here. Get him out. Get him out. Get him out right Daddy. Get him out. Daddy. Get him out of here. Take his microphone. Usher him out. Usher him out. Usher him out. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it just came up randomly. It wasn't, we really like, it wasn't even planned. It wasn't even planned, but once we started going through that video, it was just a lot of theatrics, a lot of moving and shaking, a lot of this. Yeah. Ah, what is that? Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you all that look a lot of stuff. Don't be the arms you got. Your arm too short to bottle with God. Amen. You, you got to tell me, what is this? <laughs> what, he what was just the slow one. He saw you did the slow one. <laughs> oh, okay. like, like, oh yeah, this is what I don't know. I was never taught that move. I have not been that advanced in training. I'm not ready for some ninja skills or something. I want to see. You know, I like. I like the, the way we do it. This is the windows to a man's soul. Mm. I want to see if you really, truly. Are uh, that call, yeah? Do you believe your rhetoric? Yeah. Do you believe, or do you really truly believe that nonsense you really saying? I want to see the light in your eyes when you're speaking. I want to see what kind of spirit that really is. Mm. That's what I want to see. Yeah. You know, I marvel at why Geno Jennings, Pastor Geno Jennings, has eluded so many as what he refers to as wells and kings and big false prophets. Okay, he's on record saying that he's not the wrong man to bother, but he's the right man to bother. And that those who challenge him should live up to their talk. Those are his words. But he has never debated anyone with a big enough presence and argument to threaten his bottom line, leading me to presume that Pastor Gino is so protective over his platform that he can care less whether or not the truth of God gets to the people. And that's very dangerous. Okay. First Peter chapter five, verse three says, do not lord over people assigned to your care, but lead by your own good example. Contend for the faith. That's what stems from that. Okay. What's the point of two heretics or two false prophets, which I do believe Pastor Gino and Pastor Dal are, but what's the point of them debating? Or even two righteous men, or one righteous man and the other false. Okay. The whole point is so that truth will find you. If you study to show yourself approved, you can discern the difference between good and evil. And that's why I make these videos. Throughout this upcoming playlist, I will reveal heresies from Bishop Nathan Yale, Pastor Dow, and Pastor Geno Jennings. So let's get right to it. They said he's going to come up with some kind of way to wiggle out of it. And now I'm leaning towards that, especially after, you know, when I, when, if I'm going to challenge somebody based on what they said, they said, if, he said, if your pastor or any of your preachers and teachers, I'll challenge every one of them. That's what he says. I'll debate every one of them. Do you see me running at all? Yeah. This is your student. Amen. Bring me your overseer. Bring me your overseer. And I have documented so many times in this playlist how Gino, Pastor Gino, arrogantly welcomes his opposition to challenge his doctrine. Okay, Colossians 3 verse 9 says, Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds. Matthew 5 37 
says, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. But this fraudulent type of behavior is something that Pastor Gino routinely practices. Many occasions. I said, well, you're talking to me then. And even if you wasn't talking to me, you shouldn't have put it out like that. Mm. And he'll debate drug addicts, homosexuals, Muslims, uh, people over in Jamaica, and stuff like that. Well, now we're here in America, and Pastor Dow doesn't put out the beacon. Mm. He done put out the strobe like the IR. Mm. Let me talk English because y'all don't know what I'm talking about now. Huh? We here. Yes, sir. Now you got straightway attention. Ooh. And you say you'll debate anybody on this in truth right here. Let's get it on. Let's go. Come on. Come on, first church. Let's get it on. Yes, sir. Y'all hear him up there. With that, 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 that. I don't know what they're looking at. He must be looking at the lights and stuff because he ain't looking at nobody. Because you know he always looking up like this. Yeah. When I preach, I'm usually looking right at the people. Oh, you ever notice that? Yes. Watch him. He's preaching like this. Yeah. A damn demon up in his ass. Anything, I know he did. That I put my foot so far up in Gino Jenny's ass, you can't even surgically remove it. Lying bastard. You know, I don't give a nickel's worth of rat's ass about none of the asses. You assholes can't address a damn thing concerning truth. Take issue with the doctrine. That's it. Because I just exposed y'all that damn lying ass preacher. You damn anti messiah bitch. Now, Pastor Dow, for all his faults, is a man of integrity. I don't believe he's intentionally running games or clout chasing. You got to keep in mind that he accepted a debate from Smart Christian, uh, Corey. He accepted a debate from him. And this was when Corey had like 30,000 subscribers. Okay. It was Corey who had less followers than Pastor Dow. And Corey cowardly backed out after he got his subscribers off of Pastor Dow's name. I find it funny how Pastor Gino falsely accused IUIC of cussing and Stomping women. Now Pastor Dow comes into the picture and he'll cuss him out in a millisecond. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's judgment. Okay. Do I condone Pastor Dow's behavior? No. Uh, that's not biblical. That's not Christ like. And I understand that Pastor Dow is being authentic. Again, Pastor Gino has a history of provoking others, and particularly leaders, who at least have some character to keep their word. Bishop Nathaniel traveled all the way to Philadelphia to debate Pastor Gino, and Pastor Gino stood him up after they were exchanging emails. Pastor Gino was very vocal about welcoming others to debate him. Okay, in my opinion, Pastor Gino always observes those who challenge him to a debate. And if he feels that they are weak enough to just push them around and, and make a spectacle of them to build his brand, then he'll debate them. Just look at the men he's already debated. You see, they're not men who have grown organizations and who also know a great deal of the scriptures enough to where that, that has aided them in growing a following. Do you see what I'm saying? For example, Bishop Nathan Yale is a former police officer, a former police officer who's grown an organization, an IUIC, over the last 20, 25 years. Pastor Dow. Same thing, ex-military, and he's grown an organization over the last 20, 25 years. So you can't just push men like this around. Although I disagree with them, okay, 
my whole objective is covering it from the standpoint of Pastor Gene O. Jennings being a fraud and being a liar. And he can care less whether you discern truth in the scriptures. He's, he's just all out for it for himself. Okay? He just wants the money. He just wants more, even more than the money. He wants a, a, a famous name throughout the earth. That's why recently you've heard him saying that now he wants to debate Congress and a lot of the politicians. Yeah, that's all he wants is a big platform, T.D. Jakes. He wants someone with a bigger platform than him. And he's going to go to the lake of fire for that if he doesn't repent. But this is what happens when your pastor is a politician. Okay, the truth is not in Pastor Gino. And who knows what else he's lying about. Okay, the last 15 years he's dodged Pastor Tony Smith, Elder Murray, Bishop Nathaniel, and Pastor Dow. Why? Because his primary interest is to protect his brand, his platform. Okay, he fears that other strong voices may persuade his feeble minded followers. Okay, and it's relatively biblically simple to disprove Pastor Dow's doctrine in support for multiple wives. But Pastor Gino don't believe in the transgression of the fallen angels. Okay, but I'll have to cover that in another video.